Morning. Hi, this is Janice Brown. How are you doing? Um, today is going to be a little short one. Let me get some gloves. I'll go over my paints first so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I hate to not show my face, but this is the only way I can do it until I get um, one of those um, things that can, attachments for my iPad where it can go overhead. I may be in front and then I can change it to overhead when I start, but I don't want to have to do that right now. Um, you don't need to see my face yet, but you know, anyway, I've seen, you've seen it in other videos. I got I've quite a few up there now. Okay. What I'm doing today, these are the colors I'm using. I'm using Liquitex Basics White, Titanium White. Okay. Prism Violet, which is also Liquitex Basics. Okay. Deco Art Metallic Gold. I love anything sparkly. People that know me know I like sparkle. Also, I'm using the Cobalt Blue Flow Acrylic by Artist Loft, which is my new favorite color. It used to be the light permanent green. I mean, my light permanent blue, but these are now really my favorite color. That's my favorite color of all times. And um, I'm going to try and do, I'm going to do a white base coat, and I'm going to put these other colors, the blue, the prism, violet, and the gold, a little white, and then blow it. I'm going to do, try a, a, Dutch, a Dutch pour with just blowing. I'm not using my hair dryer. So I'll put a couple little of spot-on treadmill silicone. This will give me a couple little, uh, I'm going to do like one or two drops. One. Okay. Just to have a little excitement. First things first. Let me see what okay. I'm gonna do the white. This is this type of a consistency. Oh, can you see it? It's the basic white with Floetrol, which is to show that like here by Flood Floetrol. Buy it at Home Depot. They know me at Home Depot now because I buy a lot of it. Matter of fact, I got to buy some more. All right, I'm pour this on. And I don't really like to have to sit and move it around, but I will because I really want a smooth base. Okay. All righty. Start first on the corners. That one's done. Go on to the next one. Hard for you to see me doing this. And it looks like I got a glop of two. I don't know what the heck that is. But I'm gonna slide that right off. We. I got these cute little pans at uh, Publix. Buy one, get one free. And it was a package of three. So I actually have six of these. And I use it for my pouring only. I don't use it for cooking or anything like that. Why bother? All right, let me get some more of this over the corner here. And get this corner. Get it all down. Come on, you can do it. Sometimes it gets stuck. And what I'm working on is a board, a wooden cradle board. Got it, Michael's. Michael's is really good for stuff like this. It was on sale. And I got a package of six. One of my, one of my things in the garbage just fell. All right, let me just take my glove off here because I get messy. Okay. Went through a roll of paper towels, but that was the cheap kind. I have their really big kind over here on the floor. Okay, now I'm going to try and get rid of bubbles. 
I really don't see any bubbles, so that's kind of good. All right. Now, I'm going to put the white down first. A little puddle right here in the middle. Like that. Might be too much, but that's okay. Then I'm going to put a little bit of gold. Whoops. Comes out really fast. Then a bit of purple. I'm not really a fan of purple, but I do like it for the contrast. And then my favorite. Oh, I love this. I'm, let me add a little extra water here. This The, the paints are all mixed with um, Fletchol and water. Alright, a little bit. Go like that. I think there's enough here. And then I'm going to take my white paint here. And, well, first of all, I'm going to do this white paint. Because I want to do just a little bit here in the middle. Like that. This is like Rinsky Donna. I don't know how to say her last name. i got to listen again how she does it. She does hers like this. And I'll pour a little bit around. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more water in this one just so I know I have enough fluidity. Oh, this is also... I mixed two. This is Basics White and also Artist Loft um, White Acrylic Flow. Alright, let me put a little bit here. Don't need to put that much. Whoopsie! Okay, now. I guess I could also use my my trusty old spatula. I got a why did that that did not mix that well. I don't know what the heck's going on with my white. I had it nice and okay. You first go over like that. Whoa, pretty colors here. I'm gonna wipe this off with my one towel. That's full of paint. Which by the way, my husband washes for me. It's good that way. Alright. Now I really went the wrong way, but that's okay because I'm gonna turn this around. Okay, I like those colors already appearing. Now I'm gonna get a straw and try this. Pretty. A lot of paint on here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me add some more blue because it's not coming out the way I want to. Just got blue paint on the thing. Dang it. I go through gloves all the time. Kind of neat to have that over there with the purple. I'm add a little bit more here on my purple. I do like that one. Wow. Not that much. I want a bit more white here. Really a lot of paint, my gosh. I really don't know how to do that much paint anymore with this. Oh. 
Plus, she knows how to blow really good as far as getting the right... I'm going to try two straws. Let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. Blow right off. Getting myself light headed. Love getting that. Oh. She usually does like one or two little stems and I like flowers, so I usually like a little bit more, but I'm thinking I want more color. I'm going to try it again. Let's try this. Just less paint. A little white. A little blue. flows so quick that it's hard to keep track of it. I love this prism violet. My gosh, it's great. And I'm gonna try this one more time here and just make sure I'm not getting more lumps. God, I don't know what the heck that was all about. Mm -hmm. All right. Go back this way. Well, I don't like this, so I may have to do something else on top of this. And this is what's really neat about this. Let me just fire it and see if it comes out any better because I'm really upset. Right. Actually, I don't have to get upset. The way this paint works, it's acrylic. You could go over it a ton of times and you won't lose its effect or anything. Now this is almost naked. So, what shall I do? Eh? I like this effect over here. I like this. This is beautiful, but it doesn't go where I want it. God, so much paint. It's pretty, but I'm not loving it. Well, I can lift some of it off with a wet paper towel and we can see what we get. Or I could just leave it and let's see what happens. Maybe I'll take some, I'll inject some of my white paint. Somewhere I got a lid here. Oh, that's my water. Don't want that. Let's fill this up. I like how that came out for sure. 
Hey, you know what? It's really turning out kind of pretty. I'm liking it now. So let me just blow this off. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. It's, it's a it's a blown effect, but it's a different type of uh, Dutch pour. We'll make this the nice pour. <laughs> One thing about it, like I said, you can't really mess this up. You can do just about anything with acrylic. I really like this, actually. Just got to straighten this one out over here. Anywhere else? I think that's a go. That's a given. Wow. I like it. Let me fire it. Fire away. And I shall keep this. My brother was in here right now. My brother lives with me and my husband. He would say, quit. Don't do it anymore. I'm like, okay. All right. Well, you know what? I do have time to do another one. So why not? Let's try another one. All right, let me move this. Hello, sticky. Over to here to dry. And let that do its thing. I really do like, I like that. But I want to do another one. So let me get my gloves on and let's see. I'll get my nose running. Gonna get the same colors, same size. These are six by six, gessoed wood cradle boards, which I'm loving the boards, and I'm so glad I got plenty of them. All right, and I'm in here. I'll move my other tray over here. And we'll start again, except I'm not going to put that much. I may just use a little spoon or something to spoon it. Mm. Let me get a spoon real quick. Hold on. I don't have any spoons in here. I can't believe it. This will be a spoon flower. Oh God, I do like that. The purple's just really a nice accent. I may just do a little yellow though too. Let me get a little yellow and let's see what happens with that too. Let me grab some yellow. I think I had enough here for a little accent. Let me get some water because it is kind of thick. See, yellow. This is cadmium yellow light. That's all I need, just a little bit. I'll add a little treadmill with that. Okie dokie. And we put gloves on. My friend and I are going to go to lunch at a Greek restaurant today. You know, it was the first time I ever tried Greek food. And I was like, oh my God, what? Why, how, why did I wait so long? It's sometimes in your old age you try things that you never thought you'd ever do or eat. And uh, you can put the... All right, I think I got enough here. I'm going to add just a little more floetrol, which I keep in the, this is an, this is an olive jar. <laughs> Save your jars, because let me tell you something, they come in handy when you need it. All right, let me do it like this and this, and it's still lumpy a little bit, I don't know what happened. All right, pour it that way. I think that's the uh, artist loft. 
I don't get that kind of lump with anything else, so. I really just used it more. I'm gonna slide that right off. That's one way to skin a cat, right? I usually do this anyway. Why be different? Get some rid of some of this paint, my God. I am very heavy handed and uh, kind of like the texture on that, so I'm going to leave it. Let me take these gloves off. All right. You're ready. Now, let me see. I'm going to put a little bit of white, which I got to now pour in here. Do I want to put white or should I should put some blue? I already have white on the thumb. I'm going to start with the blue. And let me use my little spoon. The blue I like, so I'm going to do a little extra there. Okay. I'm picking this stuff up and getting on. Then I'm going to do a little white right there. I don't think I need my spoon for that because I'm going to be a little. That's good enough. Do a little bit of my metallic gold, which by the way, I don't even see that in my other one. Didn't even notice. Okay, a little bit here. That's a Okay, the violet, and just a little bit of the white just the, on top. And now I'm going to put some yellow. That will be a nice offset right there. Not much. Okay. Now I'll pour my, I'm going to really make this liquidy. And I'm not putting a lot either. I'm just going to be very careful doing this because I really don't think I need it. Whoops. I'm just a little over here. Cover them up. All right. Now. This could be the upside down. Mmm, pretty. Now I gotta blow this way. I don't know if I have enough breath in me. Oops. Oopsie, whoopsie. Ah. Got it on me. Gotta watch when I blow it. Woo! Get myself a little woozy there. Yellow for a little upset there. Oh. This is cool. I need to blow some of this off the thing off the panel here, off the wood. Maybe I get that one. Let me see. I gotta lift it up. Oh. All right. Mix 
like a lots of leaves here, which I love a lot of leaves in my paintings. Alright. Alright. Sheesh. A little bit more over here with the green. See, the blue is mixing with the yellow. But I want to get this up here more. Beautiful. Let me wash my hands real quick. My wash tub is over here. I want to get rid of some of that on the edges there. would be a lot easier if I use my hair dryer but my hair dryer is that's just a pain to have to put on to get out and do I've got to buy a little one to just do it you know I'm gonna try and swipe this right off here and swipe this off here get rid of this off here I do. I'm gonna just swipe this. I know you're all saying, oh my god, what is she doing? I'm doing what I do best. I can swipe anything. And that's all turn to greenish. Alright, let's see. That's cool looking. That's another thing I find out with the wood. When you do anything like this or finger paint or anything like that, you end up with, you can get down to the bare wood. It doesn't really stick. And I did a base coat, so I'm going to make this some sort of sunset, which is exactly what I know will look great. This is why I like doing videos because I can show you what you can do when you screw up. Because I drew a lot of screwing up here. And I think that's the only way you learn. I've had to do that my whole entire life. When I messed up, I had to figure out how to get out of it. Alright, now. I love all this. I don't like that. So I think I'm going to do a little white pour here. But yet, I'm going to do my blue. I love this blue so much. Oh my God. I'm going to do right here. And then I'm going to tilt that little booger. Let me get my gloves. This one picture is really over here doing great. It is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, the purple's really showing up now. Alright. Put my gloves on so I can do a nice little drip it right off. That's what I love about acrylic. Don't matter. Do what you know best and do what you like. Now, I don't have any um, 
I don't have any, uh, whatchamacallit in here, um, treadmill. So, let's see if I can get it going all the way around all the sides here. Maybe this side. Oh, this is going to be cool looking. See, this way you never give up. You just try and just try different things because this is coming out absolutely, you would not believe this over here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Looky, looky, cookie, cookie. Drop a little over on the side there. And make it this side. And this side. And look around this way. You can see this. This is amazing. It's beautiful. I think I'll drop some more on the corners here. The edge. And because I love this color. I, lo I absolutely love this color. And not only do I love this color, I love the blues too and I love the greens and oh my god this is really so pretty I like to do all my sides even though it's a wood panel I like to do all my sides so that it can be hung without being framed or anything like that uh, let me do this Almost looks like stars there, which I think this may end up being stars. All I know is I love this. I definitely got to do this side. One thing about it, you do lose a lot of paint. You do use a lot of paint, which is Buy with me, as long as I can afford to buy me, I don't mind using it, you know? Okay. Now, I'm going to do, get my toothbrush. Bring this back around here. I like how that's doing, but I don't like this one particular one here, right here. I like them, but I don't want them. Looking cool. Well, where's my toothbrush here? I'm gonna have something somewhere. Oh, I'll just use my paintbrush. I have a ton of paintbrushes. I am a fine artist, which I've done it uh, a million times here. Right, here we go. I'm gonna splatter some white on the top there. Make it look like stars. a little bit into the paint. A little more here. I do better with a toothbrush, but I'll tell you, this is, this used to be good because it was harder bristles, but well, since it's not doing, I'll have to do it myself. So, Wash this off. One thing about brushes, you gotta make sure you put it on. It's a good thing my watch is resistant. They're actually just waterproof here. My Apple Watch. Ugh. I'm really liking this. So, let me take a little itty bitty teeny tiny brush that I may have over here.
Actually, let me see if I fire if I get any cells coming up. It'd be cool. Oh, yeah, baby. That's neat looking. How about you guys? You guys like it? Hope you like it. I just don't want my edges all being like that, you know? A little twinkle, twinkle, little stars, okay. Oh, well, I'm leaving it. I really am. I like it. The things are probably going to come through. I mean, I could swipe some more on top. But, you know, you have to learn to quit when you're hit. I wonder if I could do Sagittarius, just the little Sagittarius. Look at all the cells start popping up. Maybe if I try to swipe some more off, let's see, or trip some more off. Nope, not doing. This one up a little better. And, oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Well, here's another lesson on what to do when you screw it up. So we've got two pictures done. I'll put them up on my website, which is P-O-U-R, like me, poor like me, but P-O-U-R, not P-O-O-R, P-O-U-R dot com. P-O-U-R, like me, poor like me dot com. Like this. Okay, poor like me dot com. Oh, here we go. Oops. Poorlikeme.com. I'll have these up, so if anybody's interested, let me know. And uh, I love them both, so we're good. Alrighty, if um, you want to message me, uh, just message me at Janice, J E N I S E, 33069 at yahoo.com. And I'll get back with you. If you want to buy it, Go on Etsy. It'll be on there in a couple days. Etsy is, my Etsy name is Janice, J-E-N-I-S-E, 410. And why is that 410? Because I'm 410. You can't even see me here. Alrighty, I'm letting this go and we'll see what happens. Thank you guys. And don't forget, if you like it, subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell. Thank you. Bye-bye.